Yo guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Bar video and today we are taking Majin Buu Saga stage on Super Battle Road on JP Dokkan Battle. So if you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and let's quickly talk about this now. Fam, this was super, super, super hard. Like bro, the amount of times that I tried with this team, like I didn't have time to play Goku yet. But bro, this was so hard. I tried to use like Majibu Saga slash Hybrid Saiyan team, that didn't work. I tried to use the Majibu Saga Patara team, that didn't work. So bro, I had to think like super super hard. And then finally, I, I think I got Thousand Day Goku, I think last month. I was like, yo, maybe Thousand Day Goku might beat this stage with this team that I have. So we have Thousand Day Goku who is the leader of the all types. So he's pretty good. If you don't have super video so he's a good sub leader now he does give three key hp attack and defense plus 100 percent so that's really really good if you don't have super vegeto on your team now his pops skill his pops skill is broken so when it comes to his pops skill attack plus 77 percent plus an additional attack and defense plus seven percent and recovers seven thousand 777 HP per key spare obtained. That is freaking crazy for a free to play LR unit. So that's why I really like Thousand Day Goku as an LR because he's such a crazy LR. Now, when it comes to his super attack skills, so his 12 key and his 18 key, his 18 key is important. Like, that's his most important super attack skill ever. Super spare bomb. Uh, 18 key cause mega colossal damage to the enemy and raise ally attack and defense by 25% for one turn. Just imagine you get his 18 key on the first turn. You're literally getting that free attack and defense plus 25% on the first turn. That is so crazy to me. Like, LR Thousand Day Goku is such a crazy unit, man. Honestly. So, he's a very good unit. And when it comes to his 12 key, Cause colossal damage to the enemy and raise allies attack by 20% for one turn. So that's pretty decent. So when it comes to Int, Hercular, my guy, this guy, crazy defensive unit. So if you guys don't know, his passive skill, high chance to evade enemies attack, including super attack and reduce damage received by 50% to 90%. The less HP remaining, the less damage received. So he's really good. Like... That's why he's the best unit in the game, like best defensive unit in the game because of that passive. Like he's so crazy. And then to his super attacks, he does stun the enemy. So that's pretty decent. And then we have ultimate freaking Gohan. This guy is such a hero as well. So we only use him for his passive skill. So when it's home to his passive skill, attack plus 100 and 20 medium chance to guard all attacks plus defense plus 50%. For all super class allies on the team, so that's pretty good. So he's here just to support the units on the team with defense plus 50% to all super class allies. So that's really good. So that's why we have ultimate goal in here, and also he's good for the last stage for super video. Now we do have Great Saiyan One and Two, who is a very good support unit, of course, providing a lot of good uh, defensive support on the team. When it comes to his passive skill, super class allies key plus four, defense plus 50%. Extreme class enemy defense minus 50%. So there's not a lot of enemies on the second stage and the first stage because they're all super types. Uh, well, on the first stage, there's Majin Vegeta who is kind of like uh, a villain. So he's just going to receive that minus 70% on that stage. It's going to help, of course, Super Vegito and other hard hitting units to take down uh, tech Majin Vegeta on that stage. And then who do we have? We have Super Saiyan 3 Goku. A uh, very good easy unit, you know, I do say so myself. He's a very good unit. You know. Of course, we have him for his super attack skill and his passive skill. Now his brand new passive skill, super attack skills, cause immense damage to the enemy and greatly lower his defense. So that's pretty good. If you're going against an uh, enemy that has a greater defense, for example, tech uh, Majin Vegeta, or uh, Ultimate Gohan, or uh, Gotenks, Piccolo, and especially Super Vegito, he's gonna be really, really good when lowering the enemy's defense. Now when it comes to his passive skill, 
add defense plus 70% at the start of turn, and then attack plus 120% for 7 turns from the start of turn. So that's really good for an easy A Super Saiyan 3 Goku unit. So that's why he's on the team. I think that's pretty it for now. Uh, I think, uh, do I, am I missing anyone yet? I don't know if I'm, uh, but uh, we already have all the, oh yeah, we forgot the main man, of course, LR Vegito. Now, LR Vegito is such a crazy unit, honestly. Like, don't sleep on this guy. This guy is so super good. So, the reason why we have Super Video because of his passive and his transformation. Now, we're gonna start with Super Attack Snow. He's 18 key, raise attack for one turn and cause a mega colossal damage to the enemy. And then at his 12 key to his 17 key, cause colossal damage to the enemy. So that's pretty standard. Then his passive skill. This is why I like his passive skill. So attack and defense plus 120% at the start of turn. Key plus two, in addition per rainbow key spare obtained, performing a Protara fusion when conditions are met. So we have to get uh, the Protara fusion. So if you guys don't know, their conditions are performing a Protara fusion when HP is 50% or below and starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle. So that's why we needed LR video for that one. So when he transformed into his ultimate form, Super Vegito. So Super Vegito is actually a crazy, crazy LR man when he transforms. So when it's come to your super attack skills, especially on his 18 key final Kamehameha, cause mega colossal damage to the enemy and raise allies attack by 30% for one turn. So that's really, really good. That's really helpful, man. I'm not gonna lie. And then his passive skill, bro. Fully recover HP once only and recounted with tremendous power upon receiving normal attacks. Attack and defense plus 150% at the start of turn. Key plus 3 in addition for a rainbow key spell obtained. That's why I really like LR Vegito. This guy is a crazy, crazy, crazy card man. This guy is too much for this team. That's why I really like his transformation. And yeah, this is all the units that I brought to the team. Now, from my experience, man, fam, oh my god, I don't know how to say this, but bro, the second stage where we are facing Ultimate Gohan and uh, Piccolo and Gotenks are ridiculous, bro. Like, bro, honestly, Ultimate Gohan couldn't stop super attacking us, and like, Gotenks was super attacking us as well, like, left and right. Piccolo, well, Piccolo didn't super attack us that much, but you know, it was Ultimate Gohan, Goten, like, bro. The amount of times I got so pissed off our ultimate goal, man, is actually ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, this was a very hard stage. Again, I didn't have Super Video. I had Thousand Day Goku, a very good sub leader. And um, yeah, it was a good run, but it was very hard at the same time. I had to actually manage my items really well for Super Vegito. And when it comes to Super Video, his last stage is so crazy. Cause he hits so hard, like, and maybe he hit, I don't know if it was Grace Sama 1 and 2 or Ultimate Gohan, but either of the units, like, like, one of them got hit, man, and we took a lot of damage, like, I thought we are about to die. Oh my god, like, Super Video needs to chill the F out. This guy hits so hard, like, like, ah, it just reminds me of the Bataris day, like, where you're facing a uh, Super Saiyan, I think when you're facing Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, oh my god, it's so crazy. So I will be doing like some showcase on that stage. Like, of course, I could bring like the new Extreme Z Awakened Margin Buu Evil and Super Saiyan 2 uh, uh, Vegeta because they're a really good Easy Day unit. I think they can handle uh, the Margin Buu Saga uh, category stage because their passive skill is crazy. And um, there's some other units that you can use for this stage if you don't have the units that I have on the team. Of course, if you don't have Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you can use Majibu uh, Saga Vegeta. Uh, of course, the Asia Extreme Z Awaken unit. He's a very good unit. Of course, when he gets hit a lot, uh, he does get a great defense boost, so that's pretty good. And um, we're gonna just check on the Dokkan Wiki for more information. So you can use LR Gobros like LR Super Saiyan Gohan and Super Saiyan Goten because they're very good units of course and with the after skill bro <laughs> you're done. 
Uh, you can use. I know. Well, you can use Gartings. I don't know. Gartings. I don't know. He's not really as good. Like Gartings is a bit rubbish. Um, for his for his 11 key though, is really good. Like his 11 key is really really good. So when it's come to his 11 key, he does massively raise attack from one turn and cause immense damage to the enemy. And then as a 12 key, extreme damage to the enemy and greatly lower his defense. Again, if you don't have Super Saiyan Tree Goku, you can use Guard Tanks, Extreme Z Awakening Guard Tanks. Um, what other units you can use? I don't know. Um, you can use. I think you can definitely use Easy uh, Easy Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Yeah, you can. Yes, he's a very good defensive unit still. Yeah, he's a very good defensive unit. Like he's very very good. Like when it's come to his super attacks, cause supreme damage to the enemy and raise defense by 30% for 3 turns, so that's really good. And then his passive skill change physical key spirits to rainbow key spirits and attack and defense for 70%. His passive is really good, of course, getting that attack and defense for 70% plus that super attack skill, so he's gonna be a very tanky unit. And um, there's some other units that you can use. Uh, I'll definitely say just to keep. Great Seven One and Two on your team because they're gonna be very, very good, very good defensive unit on that team, a very good supportive unit on that team as well. Um, you can use, I don't know, uh, you can definitely use. Uh, shit. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't know. You can use some free to play units like we can. You can use like the free to play Barbershop Goku and Vegeta. They're pretty good as well. Uh, you can definitely use a uh, super video AGL Vegito. He's really good. He's still good at this meta man. Like this guy is such a broken unit. I can't wait for him to get the extreme Z awaken man. It's actually gonna be so good. So yeah, this was my Majibu Saga run. This was really really hard. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I have to really rely on Thousand Day Goku, Int Hercular, um, LR Vegito, and then Super Vegito as the friend leader. A lot of units on the team like Ultimate Gon for the defense and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku for the super attack skill when he lowers the enemy's defense. Like it was super super hard. And I managed to record this last month. I think it was on Sunday, the time that I recorded the Resurrected Warriors category stage. That was pretty hard as well. So all I need to do is to beat the Rama God and I'll be done for Super Battle Road for life. But hopefully we do get some new stages for Super Battle Road. Like, you know, movie heroes, movie bosses for power, all these category stages. Like, I really want, like, uh, my most wanted one would be, I say Future Saga and uh, Transforming Boost. But I do have a lot of good units for Future Saga. Uh, but yeah, this was a fun, fun run, but it was really hard at the same time. Managed to beat Super Video with this team. I'm super excited. I'm gonna upload this maybe this week or next week. I don't know, it depends. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the gameplay and I will see you guys on the next Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle video. Take care.